Yeah, G4TUZ M60HV on the VHF DMR simplex. How are you receiving us? Yeah, audio's a bit thin and a bit low. I've had to wind the volume up quite a lot, but other than that, absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. G4TUZ. Yeah. M60HV, uh, probably a little bit far away from the uh, from the uh, microphone there, Paul. Um, I don't even know if I've got it set up correctly, to be honest. It's just a basic core plug, so there's probably quite a lot of settings that are not uh, set up in it. But you're, you're full skill to me, mate. Absolutely booming in. Uh, this is just on the uh, the TYT MD380 over. Yeah, okay. The uh, the MD380 is the uh, the one Yeah, no, I've not put an ID in it yet, uh, Paul, because it's not my radio. Uh, it is going back very shortly, so um, with it not being on a repeater, I didn't think anybody, well, to be honest, I didn't even expect to uh, speak to anybody on it. Uh, and the backlight keeps going out on it as well when I uh, transmit, obviously, to save power. So, as I say, for the price of them, mate, they're, uh, they're not too bad over. No, I'm quite um, intrigued by them now with the... Uh alternate firmware that's coming out so I'll keep it I'll keep an island for uh, for a while I may get one just to put the uh, alternate firmware on when, uh, when it gets a bit more developed yeah Roger yeah it's uh, I say I think there's still quite a few settings that I need to do in this one um, to uh, to get it correct um, but I'm just making a little video as well just so I can show the guy it working uh, for when I give it him back because I, I put all the tour groups in and the colour codes and the time slots and I said I had no, I, no no way of actually testing it Paul so I, uh, I appreciate the quick test over yeah okay well if you disappear that's not a problem I'll just uh, chat to the guy over in the States on the, uh, on the top 25 somebody uh, I've spoken to uh, a couple of times uh, he was just letting me know he'd lost his job, so I didn't want to dash off too quickly. Oh, gee, oh, there you go. Right, I've just dropped it to low power, Paul. I don't know how that is. Funnily enough, it won't let you drop the power level. Well, it doesn't show the power level dropping when somebody's uh, transmitting. Are you still receiving us now that's on low power, whatever the output power is over? Yeah, nothing, Paul. Uh, Dave, are you just on the handheld on, on the internal area on the No negative. I'm on my uh, I'm on my external aerial there, Paul. It's on the uh, the GP9 on the roof. Um, I don't think I'd copy it just on its uh, its rubber duck itself. But that that's on low power on it, over. Yeah, I've got some noise on this frequency as well, so it's probably not getting sent to me. I'll uh, I'll catch you. I'll catch you later. G4 to you then. Yep, same thing, Paul. Appreciate the test. Now I know it works. I'm uh, I'm quite happy. Speak to you again. I'm 60 HV on DMR VHF Simplex. Yeah, that was a lot stronger that time. Uh, I don't know what you've done, but uh, definitely stronger. Oops, oh, sorry. Yeah, just a little bit far away from the microphone. I think I was, Paul. I say I'm just doing a little video there, so I was uh, I was quite away from it. Cheers for the test, anyway, mate. No, stronger RF wise. Um, oh, right. I lost your RF wise that time. Right, it could be a bit of a dodgy uh, patch lead that I've got on this uh, on this radio, Paul. I'll uh, I'll have to check it to okay. Okay, that, that would make sense because um, you're a good 15 of dB stronger uh, now. Okay, 7-3, G4-2-Z. Yep, 7-3's, mate.